In this video, we are going to check out the pricing for all the options, the wheel choices, the paint colors, and the accessories for the Fisker Ocean Extreme, and compare it to the Fisker Ocean 1. What is going to be the best value? Is it going to cost too much for the Extreme? Is there a bunch of stuff missing from the Extreme that you get on the 1? We're going to go check that out right now. We are on the Fisker Ocean Extreme. If you haven't messed with this configurator yet, it's pretty cool. You can move the car around. You can choose on a lot of stuff here and open up doors and all that type of stuff. It's pretty cool. Fisker Ocean Extreme gives a 350 mile range. You get a 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. The solar sky roof, the hyper range battery, and the dual motor all-wheel drive. All right, let's go see what our paint colors are. So with the extreme, you get the great white is free. You got to pay $1,500 for night drive, $1,500 for horizon gray, silver lining, $1,500, Mariana, $1,500, Big Sur Blue, matte finish, $4,500. Big Sur Blue with, is Mariana just with a matte finish. Blue Planet, 1500. Solar Orange, 4500. Stealth Green, 4500. Marine Layer, 4500. Red Planet, 1500. Black Pearl, 1500. Seagrass, 1500. And Sun Soaked, $1,500. And those prices are all the exact same as what the sport reservation holders are paying and the ultra reservation holders are going to be paying. So there's no discount for having a higher trim on any of the paint colors. Wheels. The F7 Aero Stealth 20 inch wheels come on the car and are free of charge. If you want a 22 inch F5 air gliders in black, that's an additional $3,200. The F5 air gliders in silver are $2,900. The F3 slipstreams in black are $3,800. F3 slipstreams in silver are $3,500. And the 22-inch F6 Vortex wheels are $2,900. Those also are all the same prices that the Sport and Ultra reservation holders will be paying. You don't get any discount in paint colors or wheels with higher trim levels. Interior. The base one is going to be the Black Abyss Plus, which was a paid upgrade for the Ultra and for the Sport. Mala Blue is going to run you an additional $5,000. That is only an option for the Extreme and the One. And the Sea Salt is going to be an additional $2,500. So let's go look at packages. The only package that is available for the Extreme is the Fisker 1 package because the Extreme does come with all four packages that were available for the Ultra and the Sport, which was the FI Pilot package, the Ultimate package, the Performance package, and the Winter package. That is all included. If you look at the One package, it is all of the other packages included. So that is all included there if you happen to have a one reservation. Then you move on to accessories. Tractable cargo cover, $199. Indoor car cover, $375. Recycle floor mats, $250. Key fob, $300. That's all the same pricing as the Ultra and the Sport. Emergency kit, $70. 20-inch wheel snow chains, $900. Extreme winter wheels, $4,500. Winter wheels, $4,500. Those are also all the same pricing as the Sport and the Ultra. And the tow package for $1,200 and the accessory package for $800, which is the same price as what the people for the Ultra and the Sport are paying. Okay, so you can see there that um, there's no discount pricing on colors. There's no discount pricing on wheels. You have all of the packages are included on the Extreme, and if you have a one, then you have all of that stuff also. 
and you get cho your choice of paint colors and your choice of wheels all included in the price, but not for the extreme. And then the accessories, they're all the same price as what the sport and ultra people are paying. So the pricing is not discounted by trim level. I don't understand that. I don't understand why. Fisker put everything into this Fisker Ocean 1, and that's what it looks like is where they're not going to make any money off of this car. They're going to make money off of the extreme, ultra, and sport owners that are adding all of these extra features on. That's where they're going to make their money. That's the way EVs are going. So that's going to be interesting to see. Let's go max out an Extreme and see how much more than it, that it costs than the Fisker Ocean 1 that has everything included. Let's see what happens there. All right, so we're already on our trim level. So let's go down here and let's, let's pick a paint color. Let's do our Big Sur Blue. Wheels. The most expensive are the F3 Slipstreams in black. Interior. Yellow blue for five grand. Packages. Of course, we talked about this a minute ago. Um, the Fisker 1 package is the only one that's available, and those are sold out. So you can't add that package in there, but you already have everything. And then let's go to the accessories. We're going to add the cargo cover, the indoor car cover. People are not, most people are not going to get that, so I'm not going to add that on. We'll add the recycled floor mats. We're going to add on a key fob. We're going to add on the emergency kit. Most people aren't going to need snow chains, especially when you have 22 inch wheels instead of 20s. Most people are not going to get the extreme winter wheels. Uh, maybe some in Europe, but here in the United States, most people will not get those. And let's add the tow package and throw on the accessory receiver um, just for kicks. Now, how much is that? $85,000. $85,000 and a Fisker Ocean 1 is $68,999. Well, I think that goes to show that um, they are going to make a lot of money off of these accessories, these paint these packages that's where they're making their money that's where they're gonna make their money they're giving basically giving away free product in the fisker ocean one and then those of us with lower trims we're going to make up the difference that's what we are looking at i mean great for you guys who have a fisker ocean one i uh, congratulate you guys on getting in there and getting that locked in um, to get the fisker ocean one i wish i could have done that i did have the chance to do that um, but we just really weren't ready to dump $5,000 down on it, and we really didn't want a $70,000 vehicle. Even though now it looks like if you watched the Ultra one, which is what we are getting, it's pretty close to the same price as what the Extreme is. So now let's go back in, let's build a moderate build, what most people are probably going to do, and we already know it's going to be over the cost of the ocean one, but let's just see how it turns out. So we are building the Ocean Extreme. Paint colors, let's just say we're gonna go for a $1,500 paint color because you are trying to keep this as low as possible. Um, let's do, let's do Sun Soaked. We haven't done that one yet. So let's do Sun Soaked. Wheels. So I don't know, some people may choose these 20 inch wheels and buy aftermarket rims, I don't know, but I'm gonna assume that most people are probably going to get a 20 inch wheel. So let's throw these 22 inch F5 air gliders on. They are the cheapest unless you do the Vortex. So either one of those will be fine. Let's just leave it on the Vortex. And interior, you're getting the Black Abyss Plus. And I got a feeling that a lot of people are just going to sit with that. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to really change that or not. Um, if we do anything, a sea salt, maybe. I think a lot of people are just going to stick with the Black Abyss Plus. And so let's just say that. That, that was the free one. So let's do that. 
And then we'll go to our packages, which of course all the packages are already there. So you don't need to add anything there. You're always getting the best of the best. And then we'll go into our accessories and a retractable cargo cover, most likely. Um, recycle floor mats. I don't know. I think some people probably will. Uh, key fob. I don't think people are going to get the extra key fob because they have their phones for app as a key. Uh, emergency kit. Probably, people probably will get the emergency kit. And winter wheels and extreme winter wheels. That stuff I don't think you're going to mess with. And people probably will add the tow package on there. But I'm going to leave the receiver off. We are looking at about $75,118. So that's actually a pretty decent price. It's going to be just a little bit more expensive than the one. But not an extreme amount. There is your conservative build. Or what I think most people will probably do. Something, something kind of like this. Okay, so what do you guys think? Put it down in the comments. What do you guys think about the pricing on this? Do you think it's reasonable? Do you think um, it's a little bit extreme? Do you think it's fair that the people that are getting the Sport and the Ultra are paying the same amount um, for all these features? And then when it gets to the extreme, you're paying the same amount for paint colors and wheel choices that they're paying for theirs and they have lower trims? I don't think that that's right. I think they need to change that. I'm hoping that they do decide to make some changes to that type of stuff. If this is your first time watching, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I have a lot of information on the Fisker Ocean. I got a lot of videos in a playlist. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have an Ultra on order and you haven't seen that video yet, it will be right up here. And if you have a sport on order and you missed that video, that video will be right up here. And if you need to see a playlist on the Fisker Ocean, there's about, I don't even know how many videos are in there. There's a lot of them in there. That will be linked down in the description and you can go check that out. That's all I got. I will see you later.